Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 3. We are in the 28th episode of the series and we have Priyan share with us who has been recently placed at Oracle as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us but before we talk to him let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. All students belonging to the circuit branches and computer science branches are eligible provided they had a CGP of 7 or 70% in their 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Priyanch and understand his experience interviewing for Oracle. Hi Priyanch, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you. Hi, how yeah, are you? I'm good. So. Would you like to introduce yourself first? Yes. Uh, so, hi, I'm Priyansh Mehta and I'm from Jaipur, Rajasthan. Uh, I've studied my uh, whole life in Jaipur itself. Okay. So, yeah, I did my 10 12 both in Jaipur and I had interest in computer science since the beginning itself. Mm -hmm. And I did explore AI, ML, but it did not interest me much mm. so once I got into web development that just had me mm. and uh, I was super interested in web development and you know developing new things uh, so this is what gives me the drive and the kick that to create and help people so uh, now right now I have uh, I'm in my fourth year I got placed in Oracle India uh, as my role is a uh, soft associate software engineer mm. uh, which is a full time plus internship internship plus full time okay so yeah that's okay that's great thank you so much um now you can tell us about the placement process like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of so initially there was uh, as usual a barrier cut off uh, for I, I guess about 6 GPA okay. and 60% in mm -hmm. your 10th and 12th mm -hmm. and a 6 GPA for your current pursuing degree right. and also no uh, arrears, mm. no current arrears. Mm. Uh, yes. So firstly there was an online test which uh, in which I, uh, approximately 1600 people were shortlisted. Okay. So, uh, yeah, after 1600 people, uh, they gave the test. So, the test comprised of, I guess, 20 to 21 questions. Okay. Uh, in which uh, two of them were coding and rest of them were NCQ. And the coding questions were about dynamic programming. One was dynamic programming and the other was uh, based on API, REST hmm. API. Hmm. So, you had to create an, uh, you had to write, uh, create a REST API in order to okay. solve the question. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that is how it was and after that I guess approximately 50, okay so the, uh, the thing is two or Oracle came up with two companies hmm. together, Oracle hmm. India and Oracle uh, Finance. Okay. Yeah, so Oracle, so there are CG, uh, so there are GBUs which is Global Business Unit, Oracle has Global Business Unit hmm. and I got selected in the CGBU which is okay. Communications Global Business Unit. Okay. Yeah. So, in total, for, so the list for both of them uh, comprised uh, 1600 for the test and mm. after that, the list uh, for the, after the test also came combined itself, which had approximately 60 people okay. for interview round. Mm. Okay. So, the interview selection process happened and wrapped up in just one day itself, which mm. was like 11th of, yeah, 11th of uh, August. Okay. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so 11th of August, uh, so 50 to 60 people were selected. The first round was hmm. usual the technical round, in which they asked OOPS concept, uh, hmm. DSA, and uh, OS, DBMS, all the basic uh, that they generally ask. Right. So in DSA, they asked me a very basic question. Uh, which wasn't much, I would rate it as an uh, easy question, hmm. not a, yeah, it did not give me any sort of problem. Hmm. They majorly focused on my resume, my OOPS concepts and uh, my internships, my experiences, the projects that I did. Hmm. Uh, yes, so after, after the first round, uh, they called, uh, they gave us a lunch break. After the lunch break, they called us they called us for the second round. Okay. Uh, they uh, shortlisted a few people and removed a few people after the first round. Hmm. 
So after the first round, the second round was again a technical round itself. Hmm. Uh, the technical round in which uh, they majorly focused on my resume and went in depth about web development, like what's middlewares and how everything works, what are REST APIs and everything. Right. So that happened, hmm. and I I. I gave my second interview very confidently, and I and I knew in my gut start, yes, I was gonna get uh, selected hmm. to the next HR round. Right. And just after two minutes of uh, hmm. just after two minutes of my second interview, they called me back again for the HR round. Okay. So, I, me being the overexcited person I am, I was on cloud nine at hmm. that moment. Hmm. I so. Uh, for the HR round, uh, they oh, they wanted to test that how strong I am, like emotionally, and can I cope up with the stress coming up, and will I be able to uh, serve what they are asking for, and that is what it was, and a little bit of aptitude questions, not hmm. much. Okay. Uh, yeah. So they, we both, me and the inter uh, HR interviewer, had a, a good laugh as well. So I. But I did mess up a few times, hmm. uh, so I, I wasn't that confident after I came, came out of the uh, HR round. Hmm. Uh, I was nervous as hell and everything. Ah, so two of my friends were sitting with me the whole time during okay. the process, hmm. and they were talking to me. It's fine. You'll, you'll get in. You hmm. did well. You hmm. did well. So, so the person the person comes out and says he. Uh, they calls out a few names and says, uh, "You are, uh, you guys are done for the day. You can go back." Hmm. And I had my name in that list. Okay. And, and, and at that moment, I just thought, "Oh no, hmm. I, I did not get selected," hmm. and I was disheartened a lot, hmm. and I sobbed a bit. Hmm. But that was just the, them telling that the process is over. Hmm. Your people who have given the interview, you can go back. Hmm. The rest of them will continue with. Hmm. And I did not know that. <laughs> So, so I was disheartened. Went back to my room and I uh, cried a bit and slept. Hmm. Uh, the mail comes in uh, during night, uh, nine nine p.m. or uh, ten p.m. My friends wake me up and says, "Dude, you got selected and <laughs> everything." And I was like, "Oh no, damn!" <laughs> so okay. that that was uh, one roller coaster ride. Yeah, nice. That's that's really great. Uh, yeah. Congratulations again, and Thank you. yeah. So, so do you have anything uh, to share that you learned from your experience, or anything you want to say to your juniors or anyone who wants to get placed in a good company? Uh, the definitely DSA is one of the most important things you need to do. Hmm. Uh, DSA should use uh, the people, the students should start DSA and even if if possible competitive programming hmm. from let's say second year second year or third year in order to be selected in slot 1 or a company which pays very good package hmm. so dsa is must and the basic concepts of oops dbms os uh, network okay. all of these are also important and they should go through all of these topics regularly hmm. and one of the ma uh, major important uh, criteria is also CGPA, hmm. sorry, so uh, people and students need to focus on their CGPA from the beginning, they should not let their CGPA drop at all hmm. as it does affect a lot during placement. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you so much for your experience and for your suggestions, I'm sure it's going to help many people and yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, thank you. Thank you for watching all my videos and giving me so much support. So I hope uh, these videos are really helpful. If you have any suggestions or any comments, please do comment or reach out to me on LinkedIn or Instagram or wherever you want. Okay. And let me know. I'll try to implement any anything that you suggest. Apart from that, I would surely suggest that you share my videos and subscribe to my channel while you're watching. And stay tuned because I'm going to upload so many more interview experiences in the coming days. So because it's still the placement season for the next couple of months at least. So for the next couple of months you'll be getting continuous videos. So please do subscribe and stay tuned. 
and thank you all for watching